For me, the biggest thing is community. What I get inspired by is that um, we wake up and we want to contribute, but we want to be part of a community. I believe that's why we have a miracle where we have a hundred billion neurons in our brain. And each neuron can connect with the other neurons in so many new ways that it makes it more than the number of atoms in the entire universe. That's a miracle. Rewind the clock to how I found my path to chiropractic as a profession. When I was born, my biological Thai mother was very young and so she chose to adopt me away. I was adopted when I was about six months of age by the Yoder family, so that's why my last name is Yoder. My father was military. He was uh, trained in Vietnam as a Green Beret. He got an assignment to uh, South America, so for the next two to three years, I'm being raised in South America, La Paz, Bolivia. Then we got reassigned to Michigan, and so for about 20 years, I grew up in Michigan. And for being an adopted Thai person, Mount Clemens, Michigan was a hard time fitting in. I was really curious to want to find out about who I was and where I came from. Unfortunately, in California, the birth records are a closed policy, meaning there's no identifying information to find out who your parents are or to connect back. So it's pretty much an impossible task. I figured, the only way to find out about my biological mother is to go back to Berkeley somehow. My journey took me through a full ride scholarship at the, uh, sponsored by the NIH. I was at uh, Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan, pursuing a research career, and they sponsored the scholarship to have me go into medical research. And not many students that I know of who are given a full ride scholarship give up a scholarship because uh, it's a very generous opportunity. So the professor asked me, well, what I was gonna do if I gave up a scholarship uh, that was better, and I said, I'm gonna pursue chiropractic. And he pretty much told me to get out of the office. So at that point, I knew there's something controversial and kind of different with chiropractic that people misunderstood. So I was fortunate to intern that next summer with Dr. Carl Johnson, a local chiropractor, and he's, said and kind of planted the seed that I could be a good chiropractor. So I got a lot of support and recognition and I appreciated that. I looked up uh, where chiropractic schools are and there's a couple that were in California. In fact, there was one very close to Berkeley. I was excited to find my way out to California, feeling things are starting to align, starting to fit in and find my identity as, as the community I'm trying to, to reach to become a doctor to help others, but to also find my identity to kind of fit in there. So coming to California, lots of Asians uh, in the community and lots of good Thai food. So I was feeling more at home. The best thing that I could do was to visit a Thai food restaurant. So uh, I would purposely try to go to as many new Thai restaurants to uh, eat there. One day I said to the server, I said, well, where would I go other than Thailand to experience like the Thai culture? And she said, oh, that's easy. Uh, we're mostly Buddhists, so you'd want to go to a Thai Buddhist temple where we all meet. And lo and behold, the head monk at that temple knew my Thai mother. But that was enough to actually ignite his memory to uh, confirm um, and introduce me to some other people. So basically, when I went to the Berkeley Thai Temple, uh, I met women who took care of my Thai mother when she was pregnant. And they were quite surprised and um, uh, just filled with tears as they surrounded me in a big circle and gave me a big group hug. And they said, well, come back. We have some of your mother's things. We have her uh, picture and her address in Thailand. And when they gave me her address, they said, Here's her address, but you can't contact her. So I'm like, is this a big tease? Like, why would you know that I, I wanted to find my biological Thai mother, but you give me her address and you say you can't contact her? And they said, well, you're a secret. We don't know if she ever shared the secret of having you with anybody, her parents, her family, or her current husband. So I thought, hmm, if I want to get to know my Thai mother without knowing her in person, 
I need to learn how to meditate to transplant my mind to get into her frequency. Well, on this special occasion, I was closing my eyes, the monks had stopped chanting. And it's like, it's been quiet for a long time. And I look at my watch and uh, about an extra two hours had drifted by. I'm like, okay, did somebody play a trick on me? You know what's going on here? Nope, it's really this late. And I had just left my body. I'd traveled through time and space across the Thailand and communicated to my Thai mom. And so I got the answer for how to contact her, even though I was told not to contact her. We ended up having a physical reunion. She ended up being uh, at our wedding and staying at our house for the birth of my son. And we visited her in Thailand uh, and I've met her husband and my, my Thai grandmother and her, the rest of her family. I had intention and I had my intuitive skills, but I also appreciated where somebody else is coming from, their story. And so if I want to make it a win-win, I have to appreciate their story, their frequency, where they're coming from to make it a blended frequency. And that's kind of what happens in healing is that you're stuck, your health isn't working, you're feeling pain, you don't have information how to get through and so you're seeking out a healer, a doctor to guide you. But it's really not my job just to give you the band-aid or give you the prescription or give you the adjustment and say, okay, you're fixed, but to understand how you got there and then give you the tools and the education to understand the healing process. And my deepest desire is to wake up the natural doctor within you, all of my clients, uh, so that you become your own healing journey. And so I'm just part of that pathway. So I'm, I'm never always your doctor or your mentor, but I'm just a, a, a person along the journey you bump into along the path and you learn some things uh, that help you become a better person and healthier. And then you continue on your journey and you're able to then contribute back and get to your community, just as I was trying to find my community. So I, I think there's a crossover between where I came from, how I was brought here, the family that I was raised in, and uh, being lost in my identity and finding that through uh, seeking out chiropractic education and then uh, finding my biological mother and healing those two things and then having that same principle be applied to anybody who's on their healing journey. So it's really, again, uh, not feeling lost, not feeling alone, but you know, integrating and finding your community. So uh, I'm a big fan of uh, quotes. Uh, so give a person a fish they can eat for a day, teach them how to fish they can eat for a lifetime. So um, I really value education just as much as I do the treatments that I offer at my wellness center. One of the reasons why I was created, put here on earth, um, is to help people find their community because um, if, you're, if you aren't healthy, you can't keep up with it, the community. You can't contribute. So health is not just like, oh, I'm, I'm not having symptoms or I feel energy. Health in its fullest capacity is being able to contribute. So you're doing something, you're, you're building houses, you're uh, doing charity, you're a doctor, you're a nurse, you're a teacher, you know, you're a firefighter, you're you're contributing to society, but you, you can't contribute if you don't have your health. So that's the connection for me is it's, it's not about chiropractic, it's about me healing. It's enabling you to have so much health and abundance that you can contribute and, and be part of your community. Yeah. So that's that's what inspires me. Our heart is not just an organ, it can have memories. So the phenomenon of people receiving other people's hearts and having their memories, that's a medical phenomenon. People who have near-death experiences, they all have the same encounter where they move up towards the light, they see familiar faces, and when they're up in what they think is heaven, they're at total peace, they're okay dying. And so that's all around the world, all denominations.
got the <laughs> splice down there. So, uh, 